Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, I want to talk about how um, most people are their own worst enemies. And it's related to their mindset and how they express themselves uh, in relationships in, in relation to other people. So I don't know if you ever noticed this, but you ever notice that most people live in a fear and scarcity mindset? You can see this in every age group from children to you know, teenagers to college students to older adults. And, the, you know, every person, almost every person out there almost acts like something is going to be the end of the, oh, my goodness, like everything's like the end of the world. You could see this in, in your corporate mainstream offices where every time there's a meeting, oh, my goodness, some insignificant thing is the end of the world. And that's because most people live in a scare, uh, fear and scarcity m mindset and, um, you know, to the point where they'll actively sabotage each other. Um, and this is really common, you know, um, in many, many places. This is why books like The 48 Laws of Power are really popular, you know. I think when I first read that book, I was, like, really blindsided. Just like, is this how people really think? And then people like Will Smith are, like, commenting, like, oh, this is a book I needed to succeed in Hollywood or something like that. But it's it's kind of sad that the the vast majority of people live in a fear and scarcity mindset and don't have a desire to help others right and the way, the reason that i know that most people um are like this is because i've been actively sabotaged many times by people throughout the years and i've been almost homeless three times right it's not a fun it's not really fun to be almost homeless three times and living on 20 grand a year and wondering what the F is going on. And I grew up in a rich neighborhood, right? And so one of the things I always like obsessed with was like, man, like I cannot be the only person who's experienced this. And I really have a heart to, to help others. And I think the only difference between me and other people or the vast majority of other people is that I actually want to help other people. You know, one of the reasons why I understood that I was actually going to be rich one day. And I don't know if I'm ever, you know, what, I don't even know what the definition of rich is, but to be honest, but, you know, I used to make $20,000. So if I, <laughs> there was a point in my life where I was like, if I'm making 40 or 50, that's sky's the limit because that's double what I'm making now. And I can survive off of 20, even though it's really hard. And now I make something that's a lot more than that. And um, I think, you know, you know, there's a saying that I think wealth is a spiritual, spiritual outcome. Now, I know that there are a lot of you who reach out to me and get on, even get on one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls and through your emails. I could sense that fear and scarcity mindset. And what I don't sense is a desire to help others. And I'm going to keep it real with you on. You probably won't like me for, for saying this, and you'll probably even unsubscribe. You know, you might be one of those people, I love what you say, and I say the one wrong thing, you unsubscribe, right? But the reason why you're probably broke, and again, you know, sometimes it's not your fault. I didn't think it was my fault that I was making twenty grand a year and suffering. But once I started to change my mindset that actually that life is a spiritual battle, and that I actually, in order for me to make money, I actually have to learn how to help others, um, and, and be made fun of, and do the thing that no one else is willing to do because everyone else is a fear and scarcity mindset, right? Um, too many people out there think like the reason why they're broke is because they don't have like skills or knowledge or anything like that, or they don't know how to implement something. And the reason why you're broke nine times out of 10 is because you have no desire to help others, right? Now I get there are rich, evil people out there, but I'm saying just for your average person, the reason why you're broke is that you don't have a desire to help others and your mindset is that I have to? I'd ra I would rather steal a dollar from a person because money is scarce than make a million dollars with them. And there are a ton of people like that. There are a ton of people like that where they would rather steal a dollar from you than make a million dollars with you. And I know that people are trying to do that to me too, right? I just kind of pretend to be ignorant about it. But the, luckily, you know, um, these days I can shut my mouth. <laughs> I can shut my mouth until I get on a public forum. But back in the days, I think one of the reasons why people try to ruin my life is because I was too blunt and honest. And I, I, was, I told them that, that they were pretty stupid and made stupid decisions, right? <laughs> right. So, but 
back to my point. So let, let me actually just go over this here. So again, a lot of people reach out to me and I don't hear it in the tone of their voice that, that they just have a desire to help others. And I want to tell you a story of mine, which is kind of a sad story if you think about it. When I learned velocity banking in 2017, I don't remember how much money I was making, but I was really excited, and I'll tell you why. You know, I think it was the maybe 2018 or 2019, I started making 50 grand a year. And again, at that point, in my mind, I thought I was really rich. And when I learned about velocity banking, this is how I justified um, doing the following, right? So during Christmas times, there were, there were like um, a couple of youngsters that I knew. And so during Christmas, I actually gave, or when it was Christmas, I actually gave every single one of them $100, $100, right, for Christmas present. Um, what I was hoping for, you know, I was hoping like, man, this is going to inspire them because we're not going to live in a, a mindset of fear and scarcity and we're going to like mastermind how to make money, right? Every single one of them had no desire to learn like why is it that I was able to give them a hundred dollars and the reason that I knew I could is because if I learned this thing called velocity banking which helped me save hundreds or two hundred thousand dollars of interest what's a couple hundred dollars to people that you know I want to invest in and learn and grow together with well fast forward a couple of years later nobody none of them cared and none of them will even talk to me right like isn't that kind of sad but who's the main beneficiary of being generous me because now I went from 50 to 100 and then more than 100 eventually. And the reason that, you know, they're going to be poor and who knows, they might prove me wrong, that that them and, you know, and I can see this in many age groups are poor or broke is because they have no desire to help others. Whereas I always had the desire to help other people get out of their situations. Right. So. Even though you, you know, just because you have a desire to help other people doesn't mean that the person listening actually can, you know, interpret your message the way that they, they want it to. In fact, you know, there are a lot of people in my life where I actually do try to help them and I know they're they're going to try to steal a dollar from me to make a million from me metaphorically, but I still come out the winner. I still do, right? And there's that Z Zig Ziglar saying that you can have everything you want, like, this quote right here in life you want if you just help other people get what they want and i'm trying to help you get what you want right so a lot of people out there it's just when they're they talk with their attitudes it's just it's all about me it's all about me hey you know i don't really care about you uh, i'm not gonna tell you how pretty you are i'm just kidding not not, not that but i just want a velocity baking spreadsheet and i have no desire to 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 actually learn and grow together with you right whereas you know every person i talk to i really want to learn and grow together with and every, almost most people have rejected my offer for that because, again, they have no desire to help others. And they think me magically give them this very simple Excel sheet is going to is gonna help them. But it's not because it's not – you know, wealth is not about knowledge. It's, 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 it's a spiritual thing, right? It's about how you communicate with others. If you have actually desire to help other people – and the, the sad fact is, is that most people do not. And I'm well aware of this, right? And so I'm well aware that people will try to rip me off a dollar or two. But even though they do that, if they're successful, I'm guess what? I'm going to make $1,000 for every dollar they rip me off on. And here's a crazy thing, right? I'm now at a point uh, where I make so much more money than I need, right? Like I said, I used to make twenty grand a year. And I know we have the whole inflation thing and everything's more expensive, right? But the reason that I think, you know, and I know where my money comes from, but to be honest, I don't really think about it. But it, to me, I just like to always think, oh, it just comes from random places. But the main thing I focus on isn't like me, um, you know, what technical skill or ability that I have. The main thing I only focus on is just, hey, I just want to help you get reach your goals. And somehow I'm going to get paid, right? So even though there are a lot of people out there who try to kind of waste my time, it doesn't matter. What the net effect is that I'm going to make a lot of money. And I know that there are more people who out there make more money than me. I mean, I've been watching videos about, hey, I make 100 grand a month or another uh, video like, I make 50 grand a month. Now, again, I don't make that much money, but, you know, if I only made 
1600 a month and I was able to swipe off that. Whatever this number is, this is way more than I ever needed. And here's a crazy thing, right? I know I'm going to get there because I don't really care about the money. Again, wealth is a spiritual thing where I'm just going to have everything I want because my, mo my, my mission is just and focus is just to keep helping others. So even though that other people may not be re receptive to the message, 95% of them, let's say, I'm still going to be rewarded. I don't even know how that works, to be honest. This is why I think it's crazy that I make the money that I do, right? It has nothing to do with like me being super smart, right? It's, it's me wanting to help others, okay? And here's another crazy thing. Like, I've been making money in places that I never thought I would, like YouTube, you know? Like, if I take a look here, um, actually, revenue data, you can see that ever since I got monetized, this has just been going up and up and up and up. And I, I, to be honest, like, I feel like I'm able to get a mortgage payment out of this. That would be crazy, right? And then, you know, one day, and I don't even know what day that'll be, that'll be, I'm going to make like, 20 40 grand a month and they'll be like i'm like well you know i try to help other people they didn't listen but it's okay because of the net outcome and because wealth is the spiritual effect and because i truly want to help others i will be rewarded for that right i will be rewarded for that and the worst part is i probably don't even need the money right but so many people are in this fear and scarcity mode and when i was broke making 20 grand a year and almost homeless three times um, I really did have a desire because I was in so much pain. I was, I was wondering why won't anybody help me, and the reason why nobody would help me is because they, you know, most people embrace that fear and scarcity mindset. Where my mindset is just no, we're going to make sure that 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 we live in a place that we have a place that we want to be in, right? Not something that we just tolerate. And I think that's what a lot of people think is actually right, but it's not. And people will actually argue with me with this, right? There are a lot of people my age who will argue with me that, you you know, you actually shouldn't teach kids any useful skills. I was like, what? That's your mindset? But again, the reason why they're broken and I'm not is because I actually want to help others, you know, learn to help them grow and succeed. So even if I try to teach kids and they reject the message, I know I'll be rewarded because I actually try to teach them, right? And unlike most of the other people out there. So... I know this may seem a little bit weird, like I know I know it is, but you have to understand that that you making money, ninety nine percent of it has nothing to do with like how skilled and talented you are or how many degrees you have. It's about how you conduct yourself and your message to other people, right? And again, I don't know if you believe in whatever it is that you believe in, but it's a spiritual outcome, and you will be rewarded. Right, <laughs> so again, maybe, maybe here's the thing. Maybe I'll be like uh, talking out of my um, my what do you call it? A H O L E, right? Because what if next week <laughs> I just like oh everything I see is false, and then you know I'm making like you know, five five hundred a month. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. Because I truly believe in the things that I talk about, and then you know I'll check in with you from maybe a year to two years. Maybe this will stay the same for uh, I don't know one year, or uh, or or you know. And here's a crazy thing: success never comes when I want it to. So when I made this money, like when I was like making twenty grand a year, it was always like, I really wish I made a hundred grand right now. And then eventually, a few years later, I made more than a hundred grand. I was like, this is stupid. And so right now, you know, it'd be pretty sweet if I made like fifty grand a month. But, you know, once that moment comes, I'll just be like, man, this is stupid. It's the same feeling I had when I made over 100 grand. All right. Well, hopefully uh, this made sense. It's not just me rambling on and on. But the reason why I think most people are their own worst enemies is because they're selfish and they have no desire to help others. And they wonder why they're broke because of that. Right. So when it comes to velocity banking, if you're broke, it has nothing. Almost 90 percent of it has nothing to do with at least. And I'm being conservative here. Has Nothing to do with you lacking a spreadsheet. It's because you have no desire to help other people. And I can just tell from the tone of your Zoom calls and your emails, if you do email me or get on one Zoom call, if you have a desire to help others. Because guess what? You know, you may not think this, even though I'm trying to sell you something, I'm actually interviewing you too, right? 
So <laughs> it's the same reason. And here's the thing. As another tangent, I'm going to tell you that people can actually feel this. Um, and I actually think, you know, I try to find worthy customers, quote, worthy customers, right? So this is why, like, when I got my first rental check, uh, again, I think this is a spiritual outcome because I actually try to help other people, whereas most landlords, in my opinion, just probably just try to suck suck the rent money out of their tenants, and they don't get text messages like these. You know, when my tenant first gave me a 14 grand check, an hour later, she sent me a message how much she appreciates me, Right? So again, it's the net outcome of the message that you're putting out. It has nothing to do with my knowledge and skills as a landlord. It's not a coincidence that my first tenant did this for me, right? <laughs> All right, well, you might think I'm, I'm an idiot, but I'm just telling you, giving it to you how it is, and this is why I think I'm, I'm going to be rich. Well, actually, I am rich, I think, but even more richer, if that's even a word, right? If I made over $50,000, I'm already rich, but... I make this money right here, and so I'm good. All right, well, this is just me blabbing on and on. So if you're interested in joining a group, and hopefully when you do click that Google Form link below, you're not just trying to get a spreadsheet, but you're trying to communicate a positive message that you do want to help others, right? Not even me, but just other people. And you're interested in learning about real estate investing and financial literacy, go ahead and click the Google Form link below. Other than that, have a great day, and we'll speak next time.